Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today we're giving my bathroom a makeover and we're doing it on a budget. It's way overdue for a little facelift because this is actually the first ever room I DIY'd in this house. So I cannot wait to get started and make it look brand new. As a reminder, this is what my bathroom looked like before. Not too bad, but not really the vibe I've been trying to transition to in my house. I just really don't love it anymore. So to start out, of course, I have to take everything out of the bathroom and then I began to take off the wallpaper. If you've ever wondered about the peel and stick wallpaper and what happens when it comes off, then this might give you an idea. I'll be honest, it could totally be user error and maybe I messed up, I don't know but this wasn't supposed to damage my wall. It's been up for a few years and it did not come off that easily, but maybe it's due to the humidity in the bathroom. I don't know, but either way, just keep this in mind if you want to use peel and stick wallpaper. myself if you're new here my name is Keely I'm 31 years old and my middle name is really rainbow I make YouTube videos about home decor holidays DIYs and motherhood and I like to keep it real I'm a normal mom with a normal house who wears leggings almost every day and my baby never naps I live in North Carolina I have three kids and I'm married to my husband Tim who works in the oil field which means he's hardly ever here y'all I want to be your new mom friend who will encourage you, give you life hacks to be the mom you want to be, and I promise that I'll never judge you as long as you don't judge the fact that sometimes I feed my kids pancakes for dinner purely because I hate cooking. I would love to have you subscribe. I put up videos every week here on YouTube, and I also post a lot on TikTok and Instagram. After I took the wallpaper down, I got to work fixing the drywall. I just needed to use a little bit of spackling to go over all the places where the holes were or it looked kind of uneven. Honestly, it was a pretty simple fix. I just sanded it once it was dry and then I was able to paint the surface and it looked nice and smooth. Not a huge deal, but like I said, just be aware if you take down the wallpaper that you might have to do this part. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know My least favorite part of DIYs is probably painting, and unfortunately, it's one of the most budget-friendly ways to make a room look brand new. When I paint, I typically cut in around the edges with an edger or a brush, and then I use a roller to put the paint on. I went with the color Rosemary by Sherwin-Williams for the walls. I thought it was a more sophisticated color, and I just really wanted to give the room a more like elevated look, so I thought this was great color. I love how it turned out. I used two coats of paint on the walls, and that gave really good coverage. I did have to do a few touch-ups overall, but honestly, Pretty simple, pretty easy. Luckily, the bathroom is small, so it didn't take that long. I push back the serious feeling, the ends unknown. To get back the life I used to know. All in this, 
past and alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this past and alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know so as always, if you're new or wondering what's coming up next, buckle up so I can tell you. I have a few fun projects coming up this summer. So next I'm gonna be sharing a backyard makeover with planting, cleaning, and probably talking a lot of crap about my dog who has dug like 800 holes in the yard that I have to fill in. And then I'm also gonna be doing a patio makeover. That one is always a favorite and I have some big plans again for this year to make it a fun space for everyone to enjoy this summer and fall. So lots of good stuff coming up. Can't wait to share it with you guys. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. and painted all of the baseboards and edges in the bathroom. If you're looking for a way to give any room a cleaner, newer look, painting the baseboards and re helps so much. When I was caulking this time, I did pick up a new little tool to help make it smooth, and I'm so glad I did. Caulking's always so messy and I hate it, but the little tool that I got helps me avoid getting it on my hands as much. So to be honest, I'm a pretty messy DIYer. I usually choose to be messy and then clean up after versus being super clean as I go. I don't know why I'm like this. I've always been like this. I do this with cooking too, but you know, whatever. At least I'm self-aware. Anyway, I will link everything I use in the description below. So don't forget to check down there if you have any questions. the vanity back to white. I used a paint that's specifically made for trim and cabinets. So it did work really well to cover the blue and it took about three coats, but now it looks so nice and clean. Typically I would spray my cabinet doors, but this paint self levels. So that was super helpful because it gave it a really smooth texture once it was dry. things for this room and one of the things that I bought besides the paint obviously was a new light I really wanted a gold light fixture and I think it helped bring my vision to life and like tie everything together Amazon actually has a lot of really inexpensive bathroom lights and light fixtures so don't sleep on them if you're shopping for light fixtures
to keep everything on a budget, I tried to use as much as I could that I already had. I painted the mirror I had in here before black, and then I reused the same towel hooks and shower curtain, and I just tried to shop my house for decor. Honestly, it doesn't take that much to revamp a room by just reimagining some things that you already have. Ideally, I would love to get new shower fixtures and gold to match the rest of the bathroom and probably gold shower curtain rings and a black shower curtain rod. I definitely think that'll be something I do in the near future, but I like to be real with you guys when I do DIYs and let you know that it's okay to not completely finish every single detail in a room when you do a DIY. Spending thousands of dollars at once is not in everyone's budget and it's not realistic. And sometimes I feel like DIY videos can be really discouraging when you personally can't do everything all at once and you have to do it a little bit at a time. So trust me when I say that is normal and it's totally okay to fix your home up a little bit at a time. It doesn't have to be all at once like you see on the internet. Side note to today's video, I just wanna say thank you all so much for being here. I recently hit 100,000 subscribers and I am just so in awe and so thankful that this is my job. There's not a day that goes by that I don't feel grateful that I don't have to work 80 hours a week in a restaurant anymore. It's taken 11 and a half years to get to 100,000, but I wouldn't change that for the world because it's allowed me so much time to build this community, meet amazing people, and have the best experiences. So thank you all so much, honestly. Every one of you, it means so much to me and I am just so, so grateful. So this is the new look for the bathroom. I really love how it turned out and I think I want to use this green color to paint everything in my house, honestly. It looks so good. Overall, I spent $500, under $500 actually, to give the bathroom a whole new look and I am really pleased with how it came out. You'll have to let me know what you think down below. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and supporting me and if no one sold you today, you're doing a really great job.